kilograms. Not a long warm-up period if you're Mallory Velti or Emma Bruntill. Yeah, we saw that quick fall from Kayla Miracle, and I have a feeling that this match isn't going to play out like the last one. Yeah, these two guys have seen each other several times, mostly at 62 kilos. Now they're at 65 new weight. Same uh, intense rivalry. Velti training out of the Beaver Dam RTC in Oregon State. And Emma Bruntill was at McKendry. She's in the portal. We'll see where she lands. She's got eligibility left in college, coached by uh, that's Andrew Cook and Coach Izzy in the corner as a single leg for Velti converts, and that's the first two points. Yeah, really nice single leg there for Velti. Now she's working on a gut wrench, and she gets it. Looking to lock up another one. Bruntill looking to defend. And look like she's going to, yep, she'll go back up on her feet. Velti out to a quick 4-0 lead. Now, we saw these two wrestle earlier this year at the Kolov in Bulgaria in February, and Bruntil came out on top there in a really tight match. Velti looking for a, a bit of a re revenge here. Yeah, and she uh, had won matches at um, the Captain's Cup, mm -hmm. a dual meet tournament, and then as well as the Bill Farrell back in 2019. Ooh, nice low leg attack, and that's kind of Bruntil's signature attack, gets that low level. But now she's bringing it up to her feet to finish. Trips and finishes 4-2. Now she's working a lace. Unable to lock it up though. She'll go up top and we'll go back on our feet. 4-2, Velti holds the lead. A minute 38 to go in the first period. Emma Bruntil, one of the uh, most active starts to uh, 2022 of any any wrestler in America. She wrestled at the Oregon, winning gold there, beating Forrest Molinari, then wrestled the Kolov a few weeks later, beating Mallory Velti, winning gold, then wrestled at the Yasser Dogu, uh, got, uh, Forrest Molinari got revenge, but Bruntil still finished with a bronze medal there. So really great start to the year for Emma Bruntil. Yeah, we talked about the depth that USA Wrestling has in women's wrestling recently. And this is uh, an example of that. Emma Bruntill stepping up while someone like Mallory Velti is still active. And she is a world bronze medalist from 2018. So you have medalists coming back, mm -hmm. trying to fight for a position, trying to regain world spots in the case of Jakar Winchester, who's a world champ, and then was not able to make the world team in 2021. Exactly. And we have another world medalist, for Forrest Molinari, sitting in Final X here at 65 kilograms uh, as well. Yeah, so the talent just piling up. And we get to enjoy it here as two of the best American 65 kilogram wrestlers are on the mat right now. Yeah, Bruntil doing a good job tying up. Velti on the right side there. Velti clears out. We're back kind of head to head here. Just 15 seconds to go now in the first period. Shot from Bruntill, but time will expire in the first. Mallory Velti takes a 4-2 to two lead into the break off of her quick takedown and a gut wrench kind of right off the bat in this match. Yeah, that was a forceful double leg there. No holding back for Emma Bruntill, even with just a few seconds left. That was uh, almost to send a message as it was to score a point. Now Velti will be thinking about that. She got... A double leg scored on her, a very low shot, and then another one fired off right at the end of the period. So that's the first thing on her mind coming back when the whistle blows here to start the second period. But Velti, an experienced veteran, see what she comes back with here in the back half of the 65 kilogram finals match here in the open. Yeah, and Velti kind of shot right off the whistle there, and Bruntill able to defend this time. And Kind of almost feel like that's a, that's a strategy of Velti. Get get her offense going quick in the period. Kind of capitalize and score and uh, build build a lead. As I mean, be a great strategy for any wrestler. Get a lead early and, and hold it. <laughs> Keys to victory include having more points than your opponent at the end of the match. Yes, yes, of course. Good snap there from Velti. As Brunthill goes back to that two on one.
Brunzel being a little bit more active. Her feet are moving. She's taking stutter steps. She's making Velti react to her movements, which bodes well as she takes a shot at an ankle pick there. Velti trying to re-attack. Still holds the 4-2 lead, so it is incumbent upon Brunzel to make up that difference. Yeah, a takedown will give Brunzel criteria lead just based off of the two, two points for Velti. But she's going to need to get something going here as nice double leg by Velti, but Brunzel able to defend that first big attack and turn get the shin whizzer and get a stalemate. So minute 29 now to go. Velti still holds the 4-2 to two lead. A good reaction by Brunzel to get her weight back. She got her hips behind her and then pushed back on Velti to defend and earn that restart. But also good strategy by Velti. You want to keep Brunzel Yeah, nice attack from toes. the outside for Brunzel, but Velti Nice little drag, almost runs, gets the angle, and Brunzel looked to step through there. Melty clears out, and we are one minute to go now in the match. Two on one on the right side for Brunzel. Melty able to defend and clear out. 50 seconds to go now. Every time Velty gets into those arm ties and then clears out, that's more clock gets chewed up, and that's more time that Brunzel won't have to make this comeback. Look for a little drag, the foot sweep there, unable to get it. Approaching 30 seconds now to go in the match. Hand fighting crucial now in these waning moments of the match. Brunzel needs to set up a clean shot to get a takedown. Velti wants to keep chewing and there up there she clock. is, gets to the right side single and gets the quad pod position. She's going to need to bring this down. Two is offered and two is confirmed with just 10 seconds to go in the match. Clutch takedown. That's the second wow. time we've seen someone hit a clutch go ahead maneuver here in the finals. Brunthill leads via criteria. Does Velti have something for her in nine seconds? Any score will do. Velti comes forward, takes an attack. But the defense of Brunthill is too strong, and that'll do it. Emma Brunthill. Gives a wave to the crowd, and she is your U.S. Open champion with the victory over Mallory Velti, 4-4. Four four. Got it when she needed it, and now she's sitting in the number one seed.